What's up guys, it's Tegan here and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.4 but uh, this is a tethered jailbreak meaning that if you reboot if your battery goes down or if you turn off your iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad then you're going to have to re reuse Retino in order to turn the device on and um, as the 4.3.4 update it does not really include any new features it just fixes the jailbreak exploit and so I'll post the links in the description to the Red Snow for Mac and Windows and the firmware website so you can download your respective uh, firmware for your device. So first thing we're going to go into Red Snow and you're going to see Red Snow EXE. I'm going to go right click, go down to properties, go to compatibility and check on this from this program compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3 and then click on run this program as administrator click apply and then press OK. Once you got that, you're going to go double click on Red Snow. You're going to get this window here. It's going to tell you to browse for your um, iOS firmware 4.3.4. So we're going to browse. There it is. So it's going to be processing the firmware. Just give it some time. Alright, my PSW successfully identified. So let's click next. Preparing jailbreak data. It's going to give you a list of options install Cydia, install custom bun uh, bundle, deactivate, just boot tether right now, and just enter on DFU mode. Right now, we're just going to focus on install Cydia, and, as for, and then we're going to go back to just boot tethered right now. So just going to click next and it's going to tell you to make sure your device is both off and plugged into the computer so I'm going to do that right now alright so we got our setup here this is my iPhone 3GS it's already turned off and it's already plugged in and in our window here we have uh, red snout to be clicked next on it's just going to tell us to hold the power button and then hold on to the home button in a certain amount of steps so I'm going to do that right now so click next, hold the home power button for three seconds, and hold the home button for another few seconds. Then if I release the home button, yep, keep holding the home button for another few seconds. And then it should be exploring with Lime Rain. And you get the white screen, you get the jailbreaking data screen. So we can let go of the home button right now and continue on to our computer. We're done with the computer now, so let's just look at the iPhone itself. Alright. So it's just about finished. Please wait, please wait, please wait. So we're just going to wait. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead while that's done finishing up, and I'll catch you guys later. So I'll come back when it's done doing its stuff. Alright, so our iPhone 3GS just um, booted up, and here we go. We got the home screen, and there you go, Cydia. So now you can't really run Cydia because it's not really open yet. So what you got to do is turn off your iDevice. Whoops. Wow. This is difficult using a camera and using one hand. So there we go. And so we're going to have to run Red Snow again. So let's do that right now. All right. At this point, our iPhone 3GS has Cydia but it won't um, go into Cydia because it's a white icon and right now it's turned off so we can't really turn it on like we did before. So now we're going to run Red Snow again. We're going to get the same window that we got before. We're going to browse for the IPSW. Next. All 
Alright, instead of checking install Cydia, we're going to go ahead and go down to just boot tether now. So now what we're going to do is do the same thing we did for with the iPhone 3GS when we first used the um, hold on to the power button, hold on to the home button steps again. So we're going to do this again. Just trying to get a, per like a grip on this phone so it won't mess up like I did last time. So let's go next. Hold down the power button. Hold the home button. Then, without releasing the home button, release the power button. Waiting for uh, exploding with flying rain. If you mess up, you can always go back. If you're stuck in recovery mode, all you gotta do is just hold the home button and the power button at the same time which you can find on Google. So right now you can see that we have the pineapple logo and, and our screen on our computer, it's already done. So we're gonna go back to the iPhone. So we're on our desktop here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and skip again to when it's done uh, rebooting. And we should have Cydia working like it should be. Alright, so now we have our iPhone ready up and we got Cydia. And now it's loading up like it should be. It's probably going to tell you the same thing, user, developer, oh, they didn't really tell me anything, that's weird. But uh, let me see, it's running on 1.1.1, huh, that's weird. But it's telling me I'm running on iOS 4.3.4, .4, so that's good. And everything seems to be working good. So like I said, remember, if you're going to like be downloading Winterboard or any, any, um, tweaks that have to reboot your device then you pretty much have to uh, use red snow again and uh, for some reason I still have the white icon for Cydia but um, yeah I'm not complaining Cydia seems to be working pretty good so yeah that's all that's all I gotta show you guys if you have any more questions please leave a comment uh, please rate comment subscribe and yeah and uh, stay tuned for more future videos of iOS shell bricks